Parents and Siblings Intro 1. Robert Edward Lee was born on January 19, 1807, at Stratford Hall Plantation in Westmoreland County, Virginia. 2. His father, Henry, Light Horse Harry, Lee III, was a Revolutionary War hero, and his mother, Anne Hill Carter Lee, came from a prominent Virginia family. Early Life 1. Growing up at Stratford Hall, Lee experienced the privileges of a prosperous plantation lifestyle. 2. His early life was marked by the influence of his father's military career and his family's connection to Virginia's elite. Education 1. Lee attended the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he excelled in engineering and military studies. 2. He graduated second in his class in 1829. Affairs, Spouses, and Children 1. Lee married Mary Anna Custis, the great-granddaughter of Martha Washington and George Washington's step-granddaughter. 2. They had seven children together, including three sons and four daughters. Personal Wealth 1. Lee's family had significant land holdings and wealth in Virginia, but much of it was lost or confiscated during the Civil War. Influence 1. Robert E. Lee is primarily known for his role as a Confederate military leader during the American Civil War. 2. His leadership skills, tactical acumen, and strategic decisions had a profound influence on the Confederacy. Achievements 1. Lee's military career included notable successes, such as the Seven Days Battles and the Battle of Chancellorsville. 2. He is remembered for his audacious tactics and ability to inspire his troops. Reason for Death 1. Robert E. Lee died on October 12, 1870, in Lexington, Virginia, at the age of 63. 2. The cause of death was pneumonia. Place and time of death. 1. Lee spent the final years of his life as the president of Washington College, now Washington and Lee University, in Lexington. 2. He died peacefully at his home, known as the Lee Jackson House. Legacy. 1. Robert E. Lee's legacy is complex and multifaceted. 1. He is revered by some as a brilliant military tactician and leader, while others view him as a symbol of the Confederacy and its support for slavery. 2. Lee's decision to resign from the U.S. Army to join the Confederate cause continues to be a subject of historical debate. 3. His post-war efforts to promote reconciliation and healing in the United States are also a part of his legacy. Additional Points 1. Lee's surrender to General Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse in 1865 effectively ended the American Civil War. 2. His acceptance of defeat and commitment to reunifying the nation were instrumental in the post-war reconciliation process. 3. Statues and memorials of Robert E. Lee can be found across the United States, but they have also been the focus of controversy and removal in recent years. 4. The legacy of Robert E. Lee remains a prominent topic in discussions about American history, memory, and the Civil War.